All right, hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be replacing the thermostat on a 1998 Honda Civic LX. It's a 1.6 liter motor. Um, I already opened up the thermostat housing. Zoom into here. That's this. It had two 10 millimeter bolts on either side, either ends of it, on the, on the uh, housing itself. I didn't have to remove anything else because it was already, um, it was pretty easy to take out. It's already vertical. There's nothing else that you really have to take out. If you wanted to, you could have went ahead and um, drain the and drain the coolant. There's a drain plug and a radiator underneath here. Can you push down here? It should be right here. Right here. There's a drain plug and a radiator. Can you get? Can you see that there? It's my right hand is there. You go. On the bottom of the drain plug, <clears throat> on the bottom of the radiator, underneath the fan, there's a drain plug. That would drain out most of the coolant in the uh, cooling system itself from the radiator, from the upper radiator hose up until it hits the thermostat. Once that cool, um, you drain that out, most of the coolant's gonna be out, but you're gonna, you're gonna still have some behind the uh, thermostat. So regardless whether you wanna like get some coolant out or not, you're still gonna have some coolant stuck behind the thermostat, which will fall out. So the old thermostat, anyway, the old thermostat it took out, and it was kind of, it had some, <clears throat> it was pretty uh, bad. It didn't look too well. The minute I took it out, it was stuck. I had to take a screwdriver, stick it in, and kind of like put a good amount of force to take it out. Once I took it out, then some cooling came out from the inside from where the uh, engine block is. And I want to say about a little, like half a liter came out, and I had a catch underneath to catch the rest of it. Um, but yeah, it was, that, uh, it was that easy. There's um, a ground here. Control that right there where my middle fingers, pointer fingers. There's a ground here with a, another 10 millimeter bolt that uh, might confuse you to think that you might have to take that out. You don't. Again, it's just a two uh, 10 millimeter bolts right here that you gotta take out. One on this side, one here where my thumb is, and one over here where my thumb is, right on this side, right there. And that's it. This will be the replacement. It's um, <clears throat> their last uh, a thermostat has it's a fail safe in it. Again, guys, if you saw my previous video, that fin there, that's there to uh, in the thermostat that's there to help you bleed out the coolant. And whenever you replace your um, thermostat, you want to make sure this is up, is vertical, is on the top end of the uh, thermostat, so that way when you bleed it out, that helps you out, that helps straight out, get out all the air that's left in your cooling system. Um, and yeah, so that when I and that that's uh that's an important uh, thing to know. So what, what I mean by that is. Let me take out the gasket. And don't forget to get a gasket, a replacement gasket for your thermostat. You will have to replace that. What I mean by that is <clears throat> when you go ahead and you put this in, this thermostat, the fin has to be on the top, has to be like this. You don't want it vertical, you don't want it to the side, or you don't want it on the bottom. You want that fin to be on the top part, uppermost part of the thermostat, like that. And that's it. Um, as I uh, as I go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But pretty much, it's just gonna be two. Well, after I put in the thermostat, it's gonna be two bolts there. Put them back. It's that simple. Then I'll go ahead with the uh, and show you guys the process of bleeding out the uh, the cooling system. See a little part right there, so that's how you want it to look. And it just seats right inside. Your whole finger will be smooth when you push it on. That's it. Cool.